Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. And uh, it's time for us to talk to Halzen about this worm in our head. Your path will soon take you away from the grove, I feel. Your efforts will not be forgotten. Enough delays, I want to be cured. Then go forth. There are no easy paths to what you seek. If you seek my aid, you must show patience. I already waited a day. What? And yet save it you did. I am grateful, no matter what your motivations. Okay. Um... I guess we'll go do some other things and come back. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, come to me the next day. We camped. We did. Let's just try camping one more time, just to see if that makes any difference. Oh, hold on. Isn't uh, Volo here somewhere? Where's Volo at? There he is. Let's talk to Volo. Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. <laughs> the druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. You know, I fought one of them, right? Here. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. I've kind of killed one, actually. That... that can't be. I killed a Mind Flayer in its lair aboard a Nautiloid. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Second one. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? <laughs> Let's just go with this one. Doesn't quite say that we have a parasite in our head. Malaise is one word for it, more like psychic transference. Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. He's about to figure it out. Unless... Say nothing. Hmm. Are you familiar with the process of ceramorphosis? That is what happens when a mind flare parasite infects a living host. I'm listening. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do We're gonna know play that coy. not long after insertion, the host, <laughs> that's you, I like the hand turns motion into there. <laughs> a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. Sure. We're going to go with that. All right, Halzen, you going to talk to us now? Your path will soon take you away from the grove, I think. Okay, we'll go somewhere else. Um, what else is in our journal that we could, like, work on right now? I want to just start, like, maybe taking some of this stuff off of the... Oh, you're the one who might need the susser thing, right? No, you need a tongue of madness, mushroom, and some Tamask spores. Okay. All right, we we tried that, but maybe we have to load into a different area and do it or something. You deserve to be banished. We don't know where the Grand Duke is. Who do we need to talk to for that? Talk to the Tiefling leader. 
Was that the one that was over the where that group was arguing? Can't remember who the leader is, but I think it's over here. Yeah, that's one way to go, I guess. Okay, they're not here anymore, so maybe they're... Part of the group packing up here. Talk to Will now. Well fought. In time, your own legend may surpass even my own. No. Okay. <laughs> um. No, it's it's that one guy. I can see his face. I think he's down here. Down here. I guess I could look at these, huh? Entranced child? That's still marked? Okay, he's not down here either. It's probably marked on the map. I just need to look at the map. you bro we made it somehow now we just need to get to Baldur's gate up on the gate maybe Zevlor. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Honestly, keep your coin. Very good of you. Thank you. I got plenty of money. You must be eager to get moving again. I... We have put our lives on hold long enough. Just a little longer now, thankfully. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Oh, cool. My people are ready to leave when you are. Oh, is this our way to, uh... Hold on. Just give the word. I don't actually know what ends the beta. And I'm wondering if that ends the beta. Huh. Grab your bags. We're moving. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna check what ends the beta real quick. Okay, well I couldn't find any any links to anything that would have been spoiler free, so uh we're just not gonna say yes to that in case it does end the beta. Because there are still things I would like to do. Okay. So, save the refugees, find the night song, that's going to be in the Underdark, Mushroom Picker in the Underdark. We did, wait, Oscar left for Baldur's Gate, that's done, actually. 
So, I there's nothing more we can do with that one. Save me Arena, that's right. Maybe we should go and do that right now. Um, yeah, we have Marina, and we can go and fight the spiders. So those are two things that we still need to do. Still the sacred idol. We could try that while we're here. Is it still down there? Let's go find out. another artifact so people are watching that direction kind of two you and you I know you stopped the goblins but well, hey, beautiful. Looking over my shoulder makes it hard to sleep at night. Oh, we can't continually speak to this person. So we might just have to uh, get a stealth check that succeeds. I wasn't doing nothing. The idol has been stolen. Uh oh. How do you know I did it? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> we might not be able to steal that without getting a fight. So we might not be doing that. It's kind of rude too, <laughs> isn't it? Do all this stuff to help the druids out, help the refugees out, make sure that we don't have to kill all the druids, and then we're just like, okay, now we're going to steal your idol. Run! Okay. So we're checking out. Okay, we did that. Susser tree. Still don't know how to open the book of the necromancer. Okay, so yeah, this point. No, no, not that. Riverside Tea House. There was also a fight down here somewhere. 
Is it there? Must have been there. That's right, I was trying to get this. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating, why can't I get it? Okay, so you'll disappear and we'll have all of those guys out here to fight. to give me one of those precious peepers. I'll try my luck elsewhere. As you wish. Alright, is the only way to trigger her her mean side to walk through the door? I think it is. on yourself. You know, that's good for him anyway, so I'm okay with that. guys hit so hard. That was a one-hit kill! Are you kidding me? Ah, this fight's ridiculous! I'm fucking pissed now! Fucking one hit! God damn you! No, you're not going to do it? Valid target, girl. There we go. It's ridiculous that these guys can just one shot us. I mean, he should be threatened with people next to him like this. 
But maybe it doesn't work because I'm not using daggers? No, it worked. Okay. Good. relatively far away from what's going on. Get that back up. I'm actually going to pull you back a bit. Spread us out. I don't remember if they have AoE or not, but... really dark here, so I don't really need that. Um, uh, concentration. You know, that's a pretty good attack. 3d10. I've actually kind of hindered myself by coming up here. I thought they would move in a little bit quicker. Um, so the question is, is do I go down? Oh, if I do this, sometimes it'll... Okay. 
Angle's not going to do it for me. So I'm just going to leave you there for a hot second. Save that. Not bad, girl. Is that actually hitting him? It says it is. 80% <laughs> miss. That hurts. God, this is going so much better than, the, than when we tried to do this the last time. He's in such an awkward spot. Torment. Right. Oh, he's bleeding. Ah. Okay. I think I do want to rest. Like a real rest. I don't want to fight Auntie Ethel without. As you approach the camp, oh. you hear the sound of a celebration. Oh, here we go. Full swing. I hope you'll pardon them. They meant to wait for you. But it's been some time since they've had cause to celebrate. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten how. Will you join them? We could all use a night off. I suppose we could at that. I came out here to think, plan out our next steps. But you're right. The road will still be there in the morning. Come then. I hope you will forgive the pageantry, a custom we developed in Avernus. The sky there is utterly black. We took to filling it with stars of our own to think of better nights in brighter places.
Nights such as this one, with a light for every life you've saved. Oh, ah, yes. Volo also wished to show his appreciation. <laughs> All right. They're definitely still working on this section for sure. The glimmering glow of victory's light. Like stones in Shah's black skirt of night. Cast shrines to which we all might pray. Our terror has been chased away. Say you've wept and begged and fled. A viper's nest's your only bed. You dream of when your babes might say. Our terror has been chased away. A band of strangers, strange and banded, arms to arms and sword in handed, did neither trust nor peace betray. Our terror has been chased away. This band, these strangers stood and fought, and with their blood our futures bought, that we might live to see bright day. Our terror has been chased away. Our terror, yes, our pain and longing, God replaced with sweet belonging, and now a path by God's away. Our terror has been chased away. What secret in a hero's heart unlocks great valor's stellar start? A gift that gives us leave to say, our terror has been chased away. We raise our glasses, hearts and souls, our very lives to those we owe. For though they could have left the fray, their honor was not chased away. This is the most awkward party I've ever been to. <laughs> Are you gonna continue? There we go. <laughs> All right. All right, Zevlor. You have no idea how good it feels to see these. I'm sure this will will be improved. <laughs> the singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. It'll be fun to see this when when they've got it like. All decked out. Oh, hey, it's the singing girl. Yeah. How's it going, Alfira? This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. Hell yeah. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Uh, how sexy I am. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> It, of course they put it in there. Have you seen this body? It would be a crime not to sing about it, girl. One raunchy ballad coming up. Hell yes. Dude, I really hope that that means that she'll actually write a raunchy ballad about my body in, like, a future act or, like, yeah. Gotta happen. The song was coming along. Then things began spinning. Your cup Three also notes. disappeared. You're super drunk, girl. First light. <laughs> All right, I like you, girl. You're all right. You need to learn how to party, Shadowheart. She's over there, you like, know, praying or something. I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... Will you stop disapproving of me helping people now, please? I hate it. Ha! This is awful. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you did a good thing. Suck it up and enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself. <laughs> There's a worm in my brain. Hunters on my trail, and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. <laughs> Whinge all you want. I'm having fun. <laughs> By all means, go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. I always wanted to sing at the Elf Song Tavern. If the owner has any sense, they'll hire you on the spot. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. 
All right. I'm going to say this and I need no judgment, but uh, if tieflings were real in the world, highly attracted. Highly attracted. <laughs> what can I say? I I like a girl with horns. I guess. I guess. I, no judgment. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you're welcome. There's that confidence I like. <laughs> I thank you for seeking me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to make merry. Just the two of us. I think that's the wine talking. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. This is probably a route to uh, romance. In water there is good sense. Good sense? We'll have to wait till tomorrow. I'll go mix and mingle. Too bad. One should never be afraid to live life to the fullest. <laughs> but before you go, I know there are many things about me that remain shrouded in He the is street. the most romanced character, by the way. With me. I appreciate that. You've given me powerful magic to consume when I needed it most. You know of my condition and its challenges. But those are but the broad strokes. The time has come to paint you the true picture. Okay. I'm curious. I can only hope my tale will live up to your expectations. Tonight, of course, we celebrate. I won't keep you any longer. Tomorrow night, though. You're in for quite the bedtime story. Okay. Okay, cool. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Is it me? Is it... is it... is it... <laughs> Ouch. Yourself? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. <laughs> I mean tieflings. Okay. Never gave you all much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Hmm. I don't know. It's not so odd. We did the right thing. I wonder if... Like, I'm between these two. Are you worried Char won't approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? Ah, uh, yes. I'd be glad to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Okay. I'll find you after everyone's turned in for the night. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go and talk to more people. We already talked to LaCrissa. Alright, Maul. What's up, kid? You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. That sounded dangerously close to a compliment. Dude, look at this angle. That's kind of ominous. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. <laughs> With the barrels tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. You're wily, kid. I like your style. Oh, I'm sure Lizelle is loving this party. I'm sure she's having the best time. I'm sure she's not angry or upset or grumpy at all. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. <laughs> Yet, sure. they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. <laughs> a pity for us you have promised your knight to the half-elf. Oh, ho, ho. I have no doubt you will satisfy your tastes for endless conversation. Oh, I'm so, did were, were you hoping that you and I, I, I didn't feel like we were that close yet, girl. You kind of, um, you kind of been real mean. So, you know. <laughs> 
I'm happy with my choice. I don't appreciate the snide tone. I'm happy with my choice. Don't worry. We'll we'll go down a Lizelle route on the evil road. For now. But come morning, you will wonder. You know, I you am wondering, wonder I'm not going to lie. How might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself <laughs> this night. I intend to myself. A star <laughs> looks particularly tempting. <laughs> How about... Okay, you know, you, girl... Tiefling queens. Frightful and fierce. That's more like it. Don't worry, girl. How many goblins did we you'll you'll get your your knight in the in the tiefling someday. 20. I I guess it'd be <laughs> <laughs> guess it'd be the other way around. Yeah, um, I'll I'll have my knight in the Gith Yankee. Oh, hey, Halson's here too. Nice. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. All right, buddy. So yeah, this must be must have been the the nightly trigger to uh, be able to talk to Halzen then. Look at them all, guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Why not? Oh, I can't even do like a. Uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have guidance? I don't have guidance. But I might... Let's see. Do we have a guidance scroll, possibly? No. You deserve to be banished. Ooh, we need to try that out, too. I won't be nursing their pounding head. Oh, I won't be nursing their pounding heads and damn it game. Why you do that to me? Don't do that to me. That's rude. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. I'm happy for you, buddy. I'm happy. I hope Baldur's Gate is accepting to you. I don't think it will be, but... I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. <laughs> Glad you're having a good time. That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn it. Okay, is that everybody? <laughs> we could talk to the old ghoul here. You gonna party too? You talkative skeleton, you? Fate spins along as it should. Although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services. It's just gonna invite you to the party. What are you exactly? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Okay. Get out of my camp. No. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to go on? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, not like you needed it. Okay. We've talked to everybody we needed to talk to, so let's save. I'm not sure if we're supposed to talk to her again to continue the night, or just go to sleep. Don't forget our little agreement. As soon as things quiet down here... Things are about to get spicy, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, if you're not interested in seeing some spiciness, you should just go. <laughs> um, just in case this isn't the right trigger, I'm assuming it is... The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. With whom will you share a bed? It'll be Shadowheart. So that's cool. You can kind of like go through the dialogues for each of them and trigger their romance option. 
and I, I'm guessing that if you triggered it correctly with each of them, and you had enough, you know, attitude towards them, then you'd be able to choose any of the five characters, skips a beat. including Will, who we couldn't get. What treasures might this knight bestow? What treasures indeed. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Should have taken her helmet off. <laughs> Let's see. I wouldn't dream of missing it. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Spicy. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? To survival. Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Hmm. That's interesting. You first. That's a high target. Um, I provided the refreshments. You can supply the entertainment. Fair enough, girl. All right, we'll share a little memory from growing up in Baldur's Gate. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. A little give and take is only fair, right? Target's gone down. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. And what else do you find to be fair? Honestly, you. You don't waste time, do you? No. There's still plenty of wine. And the whole night is ahead of us. Girl's trying to get me drunk. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Look into her eyes. What? <laughs> Checking for signs. Man, they're giving me all sorts of chances to just, like, kill the mood, aren't they? You're beautiful. I know. <laughs> but you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. I hope there will be more to come. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Ooh, insight. I wish I had that kind of insight. I need better stats. Kiss her. Shadowheart approves. That didn't hurt, did it? Hurt, huh? Interest. Why would she say that? Does it have something to do with uh, what's going on with her? Does touching her supposed to hurt us or something? Far from it. Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. <laughs> Alright. Um. I feel fine. I've faced worse foes of late than a few drinks. I'm glad to hear it. You'll need fortitude for what's to come. I promised to help you with your infection. 
There's cause for hope, but it's complicated. Okay. Isn't everything? Go on, out with it. Some form of magic is arresting the Ceramorphosis process, while still granting you certain benefits. Your ability to read each other's thoughts, for instance. So what can I do? Magic such as this doesn't arise naturally. Someone is pulling the strings. The someone absolute. of great power. If you wish to cure your infection, you must find them. These absolute wretches are rallied at Moonrise Towers, farther along the Chiontha. Whoever is behind this magic must be there. You must go there. The journey will be perilous, Hex but... Two. It seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. So what exactly is dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Wow. So what do you suggest? You could go overland, along the risen road or cutting through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The entrance is hidden somewhere in the temple ruins. Aradin and his lot thought they'd find fortune down there. Okay. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Yep, we're looking for that Long too. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorne managed to rally a whole army of Dark Justices in a secret stronghold deep in the Underdark. Dark Justitius? I must see for myself. From there, his forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers in secret. Oh, but interesting. Catherick was defeated before he could launch an attack from the Underdark. Catherick took his secrets with him to the grave. You'd need a veritable underground city to conceal the force he mustered. Yet none has ever been found. If you find it, I'll wager it'll reveal a route all the way to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. Yeah, we found the Temple of Saloon. So, uh, the way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. We're gonna take the Underdark route. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would Shadow like to Heart join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my cool. skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. I think it'd be kind of cool if they allowed us to have him be a party member at some point. How do I find this passage through the Underdark? You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Okay, so we we already found that. Like, we're, we found the Temple of Saloon, so maybe... And then somewhere through the Underdark, we're going to find an entrance to the towers, right? You want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? The Shadow Curse. It's an affront to nature and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Okay. Is that why you went with Aridin? You thought this might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Interesting, okay. As long as it's not Kaga. My god. Who? Tell us Precisely. more. Precisely. Who indeed? 
You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. Fair enough. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Although I do very much feel that uh, bringing outsiders in as new leaders tends to be a point of contention in my experience in life. Yeah, won't this cause some resentment? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. Fair enough, Kaga's you there. Please everyone, <laughs> and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Okay. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was awesome, though. Okay. Well, we're going to end this episode here, and in the next one, we are going to try and save uh, this girl from uh, Auntie Ethel. 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 It's Ethel. Uh, yeah, we're going to save save the girl from Auntie Ethel. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you've seen here, go ahead and check out my Patreon. It's in the description down below, and see if you want to uh, donate any money to me. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Just watching, liking, subscribing, all of that stuff helps me. So, have a good one, everybody.